The Lifetime Jurist Achievement Award is presented by the Bench Bar Committee and acknowledges the contributions of a jurist who is fair and impartial, has demonstrated outstanding long-term judicial excellence, high ideals and personal character, and leadership toward improving the quality of justice. This year, the committee is making awards to two outstanding judges whose contributions have exceeded the qualifications for this prestigious award. Judge Rod W. Smeltzer serves as a circuit court judge for Dunn County. He was first elected in 1997 and will retire in July, 2021. Congratulations, Judge. The reoccurring theme of the nomination letters for Judge Smeltzer was hard work and dedication. One of his nominators stated, even now, as he hits the home stretch of his judicial career, he is working as hard as ever, coming in early and working late. He always emphasizes constant improvement in the product we deliver to the public and responsible stewardship of county and state resources. Judge Smeltzer was instrumental in building Dunn County's Criminal Justice Collaborating Council, which creates collaboration between uh, stakeholders to improve the effectiveness of Dunn County's criminal justice system. Please join me in honoring Judge Smeltzer with the Lifetime Jurist Achievement Award. Mr. Grinnell, thank you. Greetings to my fellow members of the Wisconsin Bar. I have to share with you, a few weeks ago, I received a call from Justice Ann Welch Bradley. This call was received around noon, and I didn't know why she was calling but my staff had given me her cell number and I chose to call her back over that noon hour. She explained when I was communicating with her that she was calling me in regard to the bench and bar committee of the state bar and that she had the privilege of being able to communicate to me that I had received the Lifetime Juris Award. This was not on my radar screen. And I was very surprised to be receiving this call. And I have to apologize to Ann Welch Bradley because we had a bad connection. And I was only hearing parts of the conversation she wished to have with me. And I'm sure she was only hearing parts of the conversation I was having with her. But I must say it is with all humility that I do accept this award. Of course, with all awards uh, and the journeys that we have, I've been on the bench 24 years and there are individuals that are very important uh, to my journey. First, I have James Peterson, who was a young district attorney here in Dunn County who hired me. And I had a long-term relationship with him for eight years in the DA's office, but he's also joined me this past eight years on the bench as a colleague uh, occupying branch one of the Dunn County Circuit Court. Another individual that's been very uh, integral is a friend, a mentor, and a colleague was William C. Stewart, who also worked in the DA's office with me, but he also joined me on the bench in 1998, and we spent 16 years together. We use that relationship to cultivate uh, relationships with the rest of the Dunn County community, the departments, the agencies that were fundamental to the operations of the courts. And we we're able to develop a number of innovative initiatives for the benefit of Dunn County. I also appreciate the, the talented staff and colleagues that uh, we've had the opportunity to work with in Dunn County. And they've been part of this process of continually trying to provide a quality service to the citizens of Dunn County. And I think for the most part, we certainly have uh, tried to do that. And this is an ongoing process and it always changes year in and year out. But with these folks uh, are certainly, uh, for me, very integral and part of being able to uh, have uh, the good fortune of receiving an award like this. And I do feel as we go forward that Dunn County is going to be in great shape. So I thank you very much for this recognition.